and here we go. We got Acro on Inkling, Bengather on Lucina. And we are here on Skyloft. Once again, hazards are off. So in the hazards off setup, this becomes a battlefield style stage. Uh, and actually, I don't believe Battlefield is in our stage setup this month because we do have two Battlefield likes in. I believe it possibly Dreamland and this one. That's right, I should know that, but uh, I forgot. So we're gonna just keep going. And here we go. Uh, we got nice shuffling around. Early damage went for the Bangather on the Acro. There we go. Getting a little more damage out. We haven't seen many Inkling players at all so far here at Smash Den. So this is going to be a fun, interesting match to ha have on the record here. Sorry about going silent there for a moment. I had to answer a few questions. We're back, and and in the meantime, Acro did drop a stock, and Bangather real high on his percentage right now. Acro looking for that killing blow. A lot of dashing back and forth with Inkling there. Air dodge through. Bangather just keeping good positioning, not allowing himself too open to a combo out here from Acro on the Inkling. The roll into it, he just takes the grab, goes fully with the A's, doesn't get a throw off on the end, grounds him, that's easily going to put him out the side, but coming into two stock here with a 68.8% on him already, nice set there, and that's going to actually take him all the way out, not quite able to get through the bottom of the stage, really close on that one, so we got a full stock lead for Bangathur here. Bangathur is not letting up. We get more damage onto him. Not taking the uh, the damage and stock lead for granted here. Definitely is trying to keep the pressure on. But Acro, looking to get that paint on him. It, when you have paint on you, it actually increases the amount of damage that uh, anything does to you. So even if you're doing a team setup, having paint on your opponent will increase your teammate's damage to that opponent as well. So, obviously here in singles, you're just looking for the damage yourself, but by keeping some paint on your opponent, you're able to easily get that damage up a lot higher. And easily going to make it back there. Maybe the up smash could have taken that out, but he went with the over, didn't quite get it. Popping him out to the side. We're going to make the recovery. We're looking to get that. There we go, back air. Not really that far close to the corner. He just went out the frame. Bangathur looking for that aerial, he wants it pretty badly. He's playing around the platforms now more so than on the ground. Back to the ground with the over B, just getting red on him though. Acro's able to get him up to 163, but there we go. I was going to say, if he can't get a smash deck, he's not going to get the close out here. But one stock, 127 and a half. It's going to take a hell of a to come back here to get this one down. Able to make it, oh, lands on him, gets him knocked back. Bangather weighs it, doesn't quite get it. Acro's keeping himself in this for now. Avoids the over B combo. There we go, we got a shield parry there, and just the, the strong over, almost enough to put him out. So anything of substance is gonna take Acro out of game one here. Give Bangather the win. Here we go, the grab and combo gets it. He's up to 65 now. We're starting to get into the realm of possibility. The over combo though gets the last hit. That's gonna be enough knockback to put him out the side. You'll never defeat me. And there we go with game one going over to Bangathur. We are still echoing. Ha, I gotta figure this out. Stop 
Two, we're playing Final Destination here, both running back the same characters. And really, normally you would expect the loser of game one to switch off, but Acro did get really close coming back on that one, so I totally understand why he's sticking with the Inkling here. But once again, Bangathur with the early lead. All we have on Bangathur for damage is the early chip damage from that grab from Acro. And he's just keeping it to him. Got a little pain on himself, gets buried. Able to get out before Acro is able to get any extra damage into him there. That's a missed opportunity. Charging up the paint, waited a bit too long, puts himself. Oh, not quite there with the over B. Able to get back to the stage just fine. Doesn't really get punished for it. That's lucky for him. Going for the air combo there, and Bangathur turns it around just fine. Gets him out of that smash attack. The reach of that paintbrush is not quite as much as the forward air out of Lucina. Guys, I'll, I'll link you the bracket as well. As you're talking about that. Uh, yeah, Ross was uh, Red Riot. He was registered. He never arrived for check-in, though, unfortunately. Sorry to say. Uh, hopefully you guys stick around, enjoy the tournament. Like you said, we do have Steam here. He's fun to watch, but uh, don't know where Ross is at today. There you go. Acro's keeping this real even there. At the one, uh, one stock down a piece. And once again, though, that damage lead keeps going in the favor of Bangathur. He's able to get out that early damage. Acro every now and then pulling something out that gets him. There we go. Opens up himself there, gets a nice up smash. Avoids the counter on that one. He's a little early from Bangathur. He's waiting for the aerial. Once again, that up smash. And immediately we see Bangathur all the way, all of a sudden, up over 100 damage. Well, Acro hasn't quite hit 80. There it is. Now he hasn't quite hit 90, and there's that one as well. I'm going to just stop caster cursing him. Acro makes it back, gets onto the stage. Whew. One good hit on either of these guys. Going to send him out the side. We're probably going to end up at a, almost a straight one stock here. It'll be a nice, uh, nice bit of luck if you do. Banger there, there, trying to send him across the stage length. That's not going to get him very easily. He's able to make it back up, Acro. Playing real safe there on the corner. But Bangathur wants to keep the distance. Oh, gets him with the over smash. Real close in on the hill. And that's why you play Lucina instead of Marth, because otherwise that would have been worthless. Yeah, 153. Can he get it to a straight one stock? Cannot by taking a little damage against himself, unfortunately. Acro needs to get this stock away, though, if he wants to. Coming in the final stock in a decent position. He had a heck of a comeback in game one, but really you're not looking to do that twice in a row. 164 to 65. He's already getting close to kill range. He's starting at 65 even to zero on the last stop. Acro's going to have to get some really good damage in here. And not a bad start. They're getting up to 17. He's got the paint on him. He can get some more damage out. Inkling with the up B recovery. Just never in question, really. Makes it over. That up smash, which was so reliable for him there in the second stock to get a ton of damage in. But that's going to be it. Sending Acro down to the loser's bracket. Another 2-0. Lucina and Bangathur get on the board.